Hello 3ds Max users. I'm going to quickly show you how to use Pristina in a typical workflow. First, go to the rendering settings and change the color management to Gamma. If you're using Vue, start the interactive viewport. In the viewport settings, set the display color space to sRGB. This ensures what you see in the viewport matches your final output. Now I'll launch Pristina Floater and you can see my output path is already set. I'll add a global prompt. In this case, I'll choose something like an office scene. Now go to the objects tab. I'm adding my first object, this man, and entering a prompt. I'll change the preset to human and the quality to best. Adjusting quality affects both speed and result detail. Then I'll press render. This starts the render in VUA and sends the job to the cloud for AI processing. I sped things up a bit here, but as you can see, the result is ready. Now the man looks more realistic and nothing else in the scene has changed. I can now build a list of objects to enhance. For example, I'll add these slats, give it a prompt like wooden and detailed, and tweak the setting slightly. Then we can hit render again. The AI now applies enhancements to the slats too. Once settings are applied, you don't need to redo them. You can move the camera, adjust lighting, and just hit render again. The AI enhancements will still apply. Now I'll move the man a bit, adjust the camera, and hit render again. It renders in V-Ray, submits to the cloud, and we get the updated result. Now applied to both the man and the slats. So that's a quick and simple overview of how to use Pristina. There are more advanced features we'll cover in another tutorial, but this gives you a good look at the core functionality. We hope you give it a download and try it out.